Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... I promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <laughs> Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh, yeah, I can tell you. <gasps> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <sighs> Can't see much depth anymore. I need to observe even more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now.
Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. My back? Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Ta-da. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? He looks more like a super villain. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Whew. It's so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn, that food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop, Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez, you're no fun. Yep, still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not 
hide it. Yeah, Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh... Good question. Jeez. Hope Karen has some food. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Looks like Ooh, a job for our local look, super look. psychic oh, boy. Man, I just saw a cool. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry, I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times.
Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Karen's a real life hacker. Had no clue. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. And, oh, dude. So good to have a home again. And a real bed. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. <sighs> Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Lila always knew how to crack me up.
Nice mess. <sighs> Tanya will never change. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. <laughs> Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. I hope the UFOs are listening. Yeah, Daniel still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Pretty far away for a sleepover, right? I know, I know. I just can't wait for us to hang out again. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Morning, Sean. Morning, guy. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Morning, guys. <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. We still have a ways to go. Technically, you're already in a way. 
I get it. You still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours here. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kinda cute, though. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <sighs> now that's some real patriots. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. They still love to party. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> we helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Guess people came here with ease and never left. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. I mean, it looks 
Joanne can throw a total rager out here. But without asshole neighbors. Do you feel it? Like there's power cuts all the time here. Yeah. But no one's really bothered by it. In my fingers. Almost like Joanne fingers. says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. <sighs> Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, Everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay, sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but... Go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man, I thought my art was weird. <sighs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Maybe... That's supposed to represent the Earth. Or a man. I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now... Let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. You got it. Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. I know. I just wanted to help him see it in my way. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh. 
Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? Now, let's throw on that spider. Check it out! <laughs> you're too far from the original. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Florid politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it. But the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. Silver Runner. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside! Zone. 
getting closer. Getting warm? Not too far. Dude, I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. <laughs> These guys are like there. social directors here. They still love to party. Not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Oh, man, you're right there. Just look around. You're lost, Sean. Boy, matey, I found a map of a way. Yeah, don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here.
Okay. Arr, I'm a shitty pirate, and I'm so done with this quest. Ah, uh, don't give up now. Come on. Hey, I'll give you another hint. The second item is by the solar panels. Mm, okay. I'll keep on hunting. You can do it. Think, Sean. Not too far. You're warming up. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just mash up the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Oh, boy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. I'll let them know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. No matter what happened before. Karen did hook us up here. Hey. That counts. Good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <sighs> I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, 
So, how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom! How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast! Whoa! Yes! Thanks, David! <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally! Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. <sighs> I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. That's Mark that everybody takes turns shopping. Hope my crops will make it. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. 
can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.